to express your Embracing all the open way, new heights I'm gaining every day. Till daily as I onward bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand, my faith on heaven's table land. While I am praying, then I have found, Lord, plant my feet on higher next song will be When We All Get to Heaven.
Good evening. On behalf of Fountain View Academy, I want to welcome all of those joining us on the live stream to our graduation weekend 2020. This will be the school year and grad that will stand out in history as the year where everything changed due to COVID-19. As Seventh-day Adventists, we know that what lies at the root of all the events of the past five months and at the root of what is to come in the future is a spiritual battle for the soul of every man, woman, and child. At Fountain View Academy, it is our desire to fortify the minds and the hearts of our students so that each student can understand and fulfill their God-given purpose to glorify God and to be instruments of his love to shine for God in a dark and dying world. It is our prayer that the program this evening and tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time will demonstrate how God is working in the lives of our students and especially the lives of our 2020 graduates. Although we could not all be physically together, we praise God that through technology, we can still celebrate this time together. As we begin, would you join me in our celebration with prayer? Father in heaven, as we come before you this evening, we thank you that you have blessed us this year. Despite the challenges and the changes and the environment that we've faced, you have blessed, and we thank you for that. I want to uplift all our seniors this weekend as they celebrate their graduation be it uh, real or virtually. And Lord, we just ask for your Holy Spirit to bless them as they continue on in their life's journey with you. May you bless them and guide them in every step. And may your presence be with us this weekend, tonight, and tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Tonight's program is called Expressions of Appreciation. And it is the senior's opportunity to express their appreciation to the school and to their parents. Now, each year during our graduation weekend, we have a very special tradition that involves our current students, all of our alumni that come back to celebrate with us, and a special song that testifies of their desire to serve the Lord. This year, it will be a virtual choir and orchestra that you will experience. So we'll roll that video now, and following that song will be a video made by the seniors expressing their appreciation for the school. Thank you very much.
It is often said that outward success is the result of hard work behind the scenes. And I can't think of a more perfect example of this statement than our very own admin department because of all the hard work they put in behind the scenes as we have witnessed it time and time again. They have gone above and beyond the call of duty. And to say that we have merely witnessed the work they do is an understatement. However, to say that we have been cared for and comforted and challenged and loved is far closer to the truth. From cough drops to hugs to strong words of advice and all the emotional support in between, to town trips and first aid emergencies, green slips and pink slips, and all the unspoken duties that lie beneath, for the late hours and weekends spent behind desks, answering phone calls, replying to emails, for the countless meetings held and prayers offered up for the student body, for the difficult and pivotal decisions that have been made, and for all the ceaseless planning that goes into making Fountain be the place that it is, we owe our admin team a huge thank you. They do all this and more, and yet find time to hear our struggles and give solutions to our complaints. So thank you to our wonderful admin team for accepting these challenges, both expected and unexpected, for taking on tasks that most of us could never imagine, and most of all, for doing it all so often without any spoken gratitude in return. Please accept this small expression of all the appreciation and thanks we owe for all these things we know about and for the many more we don't because without your team, our school simply couldn't function. So thank you for being the driving force, the spiritual examples, and the heroes behind the scenes. I want to thank you, Fountain View Academy, for teaching us work ethics that don't only help us ex excel in our school life at Fountain View, but it also gives us values that will benefit us in the future. Whether it be cooking, sorting carrots, answering phone calls, cleaning toilets or recording music in the me with the media department. There's always a variety of things to get done to not only refine our characters, but to prepare us for the greater tasks that God has in store for each one of us. Being a work supervisor is not always the easiest thing. Not only is there a load of assignments to get done, there's also hard labor of helping each one of us to learn little details and keeping up with our not so happy attitude at times. Thank you for your hard work, for your patience, faithfulness, and godly example that you show as you help us students draw close to God in every little detail of life. Thank you for following the counsel of Ellen White when she writes, in childhood and youth, practical and literary training should be combined. Children should be taught to have a part in domestic duties. They should be instructed to how to help father and mother in the little things that they can do. Consoles to parents, teachers, and students, page 149. Luke 16, 10 says, He that is faithful in that which is least is also faithful in that which is much. And he that is unjust in the least is also unjust in much. A thank you to every single work supervisor that takes the time to teach us individually to be faithful in that which is least and helping us develop character traits that will lead us to greater successes in life. To our teachers, because of you all, we can stand here today. Thank you for not just being our school teachers, but being our life mentors and friends. Mr. Corgan, you're the perfect combination of strict, fair, and fun. Everyone knows that my favorite class was Marriage and Family, hands down. To start off class, you'd lead us in a song, often in solo, but by the end, most of us were humming along. Thank you for being so willing to answer whatever questions we may have had. You weren't just helping us get through high school, but you taught us lessons that I know we will use throughout our lives. Now, we can't forget how perfectly fine you are to roast any of us seniors. It just really shows how much a family we are. Classes with you were always full of laughs and jokes. I remember before we started English class, you kept warning us that you were a math teacher, not an English teacher. Now, I can confidently say, Mr. Corgan, that you were an amazing English teacher. The classes always went smoothly. That is, if you came on time, wearing a uniform, had your water bottle already full, and your face wasn't still stuffed with your lunch. Mr. Corgan, Thank you for trying something new and putting your whole heart into teaching us English, even though it's a little more complicated than numbers. Mrs. Corgan, I think you're Superwoman undercover. 
the amount of work you do is incredible. If you're not teaching Math 12, Math 11, English 11, or Socials 10, you can be found tutoring us individually or making cookies for our class. You make the hardest math so simple, and yet give us so much hope that one day it will be helpful. I still don't quite understand how you have the ability to look at someone's face and know they don't understand math, even when they're trying to hide it. I know I speak from personal experience, as you would often say, Adrienne, you look confused. You are not just interested in our academic success, but also in our personal lives. You add that personal motherly touch that we all crave while we're away from home. Patience. Wow, I haven't seen so much patience within someone as Mr. Bass. This year, I have truly seen how much patience you have with 32 opinionated teenagers squished into a tiny room for an hour and 20 minutes each day. What a job. You always bring God into the picture with every lesson and always pointing us to Jesus. You have shown how much you care about our spiritual walks by sharing your spiritual lessons and videos. Mr. S, you have not only sacrificed your personal time, but also your sleep to just to help us get comfortable for senior survival. You wanted us to know how to take care of ourselves in the wilderness and wouldn't give up on the city folks. Mr. S, a big thank you from the whole bio class for the countless phone calls for help, the late night study periods in your class when we needed it, and the mercy and grace on our tests. Practical, dedicated, and energetic are the three words I would use to describe Apostles' class. Mr. Passos, I think it's safe to say that you have instilled a new love for PE in the class of 2020. I don't know if you all knew, but Mr. Passos is the first and only inventor of the 32 passenger bicycle, which was often put to good use during PE. Now third period, we were all greeted by you standing outside the classroom, waiting to high five each student as they came through the door. As we sat in your class, you would make our faith come alive before our eyes, teaching us the key components of what would help us defend our faith. I will never forget the day you had us practice defending our faith. It really opened up my eyes on how much we need to be ready. I will never, ever walk into a Taco Bell again without being prepared to defend my vegetarianism. A huge thank you to all our teachers for the hard work and the prayers that were put into helping us complete our senior year on Zoom, even though it had never been done before. Mr. and Mrs. Corgan, thank you for taking time during class to see how we were doing and praying for our many prayer requests while we had school on Zoom. Mr. Passos, Thank you for showing the importance of hiding God's word in our hearts, even though this world is crumbling. On behalf of the class of 2020, we were blessed to have you as our teachers. To all our deans, wow, where do I even start? I know for a fact that deans can either make or break your boarding school experience, and you guys have definitely made ours. We truly have amazing deans. You guys care for us so much and live that out. Thanks for all the fun things you planned for us, like Saturday night games and slumber parties or the time we all woke up to breakfast in bed. Thank you for always being there to just talk and have fun with us, even when we were a bit, when we were a bit crazy. You were willing to be there for us even at night or on your days off. Thanks for taking countless trips to town or even just to the calf for us, like the time some of us just had to make spring rolls that day. You helped us when we were sick and cared tire tirelessly for us when the plague went through. Thank you for the counseling sessions when we needed someone to listen and give us advice. You were patient with us and taught us to be patient with others too. So many times you encouraged us to keep going when we were falling down. Most of all, thank you for the spiritual encouragement you gave us through your worships and just talking to us one-on-one. -on -one. Your personal walk with God has made a difference in our lives. You led us closer to Him. Auntie Lorraine, you've been like a mom to all us girls. You're also very fun-loving. I remember so many times you coming outside with us to play volleyball or exercise. Thank you for your balanced and wise counsel and for your chill attitude. You're so good at taking care of us when we're sick or injured. Thank you for helping our dorms be like a family. Sari, you're so fun to talk to. It's a good thing you don't get frazzled by our little catastrophes. 
You've taught us how to chill and take things as they come. Thanks for being willing to help us work out our issues and find good solutions. Our dorm looks beautiful because of you. You always have very applicable and relevant worships. Thanks. <laughs> oh, and by the way, we love the rides in your truck. <laughs> Darta, you are so caring and always willing to help us with whatever we need. Thank you for being trusting and trustworthy. You're so cheerful and friendly. I remember your warm smile when I first got here this year. You're so good at being observant of those in need. Thanks for helping keep whistling winds clean and bringing us food when we were sick. Eunice, you were always up for helping us have an adventure. You are so willing to do whatever needs to be done for us. We enjoyed so many yummy meals because of you. Thank you for helping us to do what we were supposed to do, but always in a kind way. Your back rubs hit the spot and we always knew you cared. Tina, you were always up for a good talk and definitely didn't let us just stay on the surface. I'm so grateful for your willingness to be real about your relationship with God and let, letting us be real about ours too. Loving, you loved us even when we were embarrassed you by chanting your name. Your contagious laughter and love of yellow helps us stay positive for sure. You are humbly willing to help us with your deep thoughts. Oh, and thanks for always being willing and to eat with us, <laughs> especially sushi. Brianna, you are always up to hang out with us. You let us make ourselves at home in your apartment, whether we wanted to cook or needed a quiet place to study. Thank you for caring about us when we were down or just needed to talk. You're so genuine and willing to get down to our level. I remember so many times a bunch of us just laughing with you in the lobby. Thanks for always being there for us. I also want to thank our deans from years past. You each have helped us grow in so many ways. Never doubt the impact that each of you made on us. To all our deans, thank you for literally everything. You've been so much to us. Listener, teacher, mentor, family, taxi driver, and most of all, friend. Thank you for keeping your sanity even when we lost ours. I'm so thankful to God for each one of you. So, last time I blabbered on for like six minutes and it wasn't in focus, so we're gonna do it again. Let's see how this goes. Three, two, one. So, now is the time that we have Dean appreciation and honestly this year I could not think of better deans or a better time for the deans that God has given us this year and we just want to spend some time appreciating at least for me the guys dorm and the deans that we had there um, deans play a very special role at Fountain View they are very much our siblings but they're very much the older sibling and you learn that dynamic of respect and um, very much a friendship, but very much respectful as well, and that they guide and they mentor you and they show you on a day-to-day -day basis how you've kind of tripped up or in what way you can improve on in your spiritual walk. Um, this year we had Nathan Johnson as a head dean. This was his first year and we're very thankful and very um, honored to be one of the people who get to experience him as a head dean. Uh, you've been here for a long time and we're glad that you actually stick with us till our graduation even though it's not face to face and we just want to thank you that you really gave us an opportunity this year to let our voices be heard if things happened you always listened to us and tried to understand our side of the situation as well and you did your best to balance those two things out we want to thank you that you showed us very much that the guy storm is a place that we can influence and that we can show how we've learned and how we've grown and how best to guide the people who are coming after us. Um, I can also think of Ryan, we want to thank you for your cheerfulness and always being willing to show us a tune or two on the guitar, for your amazing worship talks that really get the mind thinking and really get you not to think on only the earthly things but the spiritual things as well. Um, Sydney, you have been an amazing dean. You've always strived to be the best dean that you can be. Not afraid to ask us on ways and how you can improve as a dean. Um, you very much try to understand where we're coming from and very forgiving when we step out of boundaries of respect. We also want to thank you because you really spent the time to talk to us and hang out with us even when you're not on duty, which shows that being a dean is so much more than just a clock in, clock out kind of work, but one that you live wholeheartedly. 
Mrs. Shoulderbrand, you were our door mom this year and we want to thank you so much for opening up your doors and moving houses and staying there just so that we could have a motherly like figure at the dorm. You always did your best to keep us in check and really tried to keep the spiritual atmosphere going at the dorm and always being willing to give us some tea, some rocket fuel, anything to make sure that we were feeling in tip top shape. And speaking of all these kind of remedies, we want to thank all of you guys, especially for the moments when I saw you guys working the most and the hardest where it was waking up early in the morning to wake people up for certain things, for um, giving people medicine when they needed it, for waking up at 2 in, the, at 2 in the morning to give someone hot and cold showers because January was very time when we were all sick and I could definitely see how hard you guys were working at that time. Um, at the same time, we can't forget the deans of the past our sophomore deans, our junior deans, who very much are very much present uh, this year as well, but we want to think of someone like Nino, who was there our sophomore year, and Timon, and how they influenced us and showed us how to give respect, and who to give respect, and how to give God ultimate respect. We also want to thank Mr. Basos, who was our head dean for the past two years before this year, and how he always tried to give a spiritual atmosphere and tried to make us on fire for God, as well as Mrs. Basos and Dalia. Thank you for the cupcakes, Dalia and all the memories that we've had with all of you guys. You guys have formed us to who we are today. The class that we are now is very much influenced by who you guys were and how you guys showed us how to live a life for Christ. And we hope that in the years to come, whether it is on this earth or whether in heaven, we can show you that your efforts were not in vain. Those nights when you are praying for us or when you were hoping that everything would work out for the best, it was not in vain. Thank you so much. Dear Father, precious Jesus, our constant confidant and companion and forever faithful friend, though today we celebrate a year of achievement and a stepping stone on the pilgrimage of our life, there is one who deserves all the credit and who we celebrate today. Father, you are the only reason each individual has made it to this point. You are working through our loving, supportive faculty to show us who you are, why we are here, and the eternal value that one soul can have. Your continued outpouring of strength has been sufficient when we had none. You've provided wisdom when we lacked, and you granted us mercy when we fell time and time again. Lord, you have never ceased to knock on the door of our hearts, simply asking and pleading to be our friend. Even when we filled our time with worthless things and began our days without you, Father, you have never stopped, and Lord, you will not stop pleading with us to come back to you. This year, by no means, has been easy. Hearts have been broken, friends separated, plans changed, and loved ones lost. But as the progression of life has slowed down, Lord, you have showed yourself faithful. Lord, you've shown yourself to understand our disappointments, to know our heartaches, to sympathize with us, and to dry the ocean of tears from our eyes. Your love has brought our class through everything, and your perfect plans have given us peace and purpose in the midst of chaos and confusion. We've seen that when each of one of us is completely connected to you and absolutely reliant on you, you can unite our class and work through us in ways we could only ever imagine, Father. Thank you, friend and savior, for believing, for never leaving our side and promising us eternity with you. We absolutely cannot wait to see you give us strength to remain. And Father, I ask that you would please stay and remain with the staff at Fountainview. Thank you for the sacrifices they have made. And Father, continue to bless them in their ministry of changing lives. And Father, I pray that you be with the class of 2021, with 2022 and 23, Father. Give them the strength, the knowledge, and the courage so that, Lord, that work which you have for them this coming year and the years to come, Lord, that they will fulfill in amazing fashion. 
pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, Father. And Father, we ask, humbly ask, that you would give us faith and you would give us strength to remain faithful and that all who would come behind us would find us true to you. Thank you, Father. I doubt any of those who have at some point called Fountain View their home would have first guessed what a life changer this place would turn out to be. But I also don't think it took anyone long to realize that this little piece of land, surrounded by mountains, carrot fields, and a murderous river, was filled with vibrancy, laughter, music, growth, and people who love the Lord. Throughout the time we all spent here, Fountain View has become a permanent part of our hearts. And because of this, we, the class of 2020, want to try to express what Fountain View has come to mean to us and why we will never forget this place, this place that is so much more to us than just a high school. The people we met here, the friendships that were sparked, have become permanent parts of our lives that we can't imagine being without. We truly entered as strangers, but left as friends. Friends that, though our paths may separate, will always be there to turn to. People that have shaped who we have become and who will fill life with color and meaning. Fountain View has pushed us to grow in our ability to learn and adapt, to think for ourselves. The support and care the staff showed for each student in our class has enabled us to learn how to solve problems we will face using our God-given brain power and the strength that comes from above. Our limits were stretched, but when we experienced the freedom of stepping out of our bubbles, stomaching the discomfort, and pushing through to our goals, we saw its ultimate value. We learned to focus on the long-term destination and to have loads of fun while we work towards it. But probably the most valuable thing we can take away from our time here at Fountain View are the moments we spent getting to know God on our own or with others by our sides. Because of the constant encouragement to get to know God personally, our relationships with Him were solidified, laying a foundation that we can build on for the rest of our lives. So, with all our hearts, the class of 2020 wants to thank Fountain View for gifting us with an irreplaceable, life-changing experience whose effects, we believe, will reach further than any of us can ever imagine. Good evening, friends. We have a lot of great students attend Fountain View. Their characters are not the result of chance, but of the dedication on their parents' part to follow God's instructions and God's blessings on their efforts. This next section of our program gives our graduates an opportunity to thank their parents for making that early commitment for them. Mama, Papa, and Lina, I know I don't do this often enough, but I want to try to thank you guys for who you are to me. Papa, for the longest time I thought you were perfect, and when I realized that you're human after all, I still admired and respected you the most. How you're so dedicated to God's work, how you're literally spending yourself completely to help people in our ministry. It's impacted and shaped me in such a way that I know I want to spend my life in ministry too. Your work ethic, how you literally do anything for our family and our education, how you know so much about spiritual things and literally anything. <laughs> Um, you, your intelligence, your integrity. I really admire you for all of those and I aspire to become at least half the person you are. I'm really proud to have you as my dad and I love you a lot. Mama, you really are the anchor of our family. In your subtle way, you hold our family together. You are the definition of selflessness and humility. It's it's crazy, like how do you do it? I I really want to be like you. Like how can someone be so giving, 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 always giving? You were always there for me. And whenever I would call you, no matter if I pulled you out of your sleep or whatever the circumstances where you were there to listen to me, to encourage me, to just give me what I needed at that moment. You and Papa sacrificed so much to enable me a Christian wholesome education. It's made me who I am today. There's no way to express how thankful I am for that. I love you a lot. Novina, you're my favorite person in the world and I won't say anything too long or cringy but I basically love you like crazy. You're 
we were so lost <laughs> growing up but we had so much fun and now you're way too cool for me but I don't know what I would do without you so for all of you ich weiß ich sag's euch nicht oft genug aber ich hab euch sehr sehr lieb Dear Mom and Dad just saying the words remember when I and then proceeding to fill in the blank is a testament to your never ending patience you managed to endure my childhood and keep your sanity and for that I owe you the world thank you for teaching me perseverance and good work ethic and for always encouraging me to never give up without you I doubt I would have made it this far thank you for allowing me to follow my dreams even when they didn't always align with yours and only God knows the trials and hardships I brought into your life. Subsequently, only he knows the determination and love and patience it took you to bring me to where I am now. I love you both dearly. I also want to thank my friends at Fountain View and my family there who made it possible for me to be who I am today and constantly prayerfully guided me on the straight and narrow path. Lastly, I'd like to thank the meme gang. Those of you who ensured I kept my sanity and positivity, you guys mean the world to me. So thank you all. Thanks mom, thanks dad, thanks to all my friends, and thanks to my family for molding me into the person I am today. There's nobody else I would rather be. Dad and mom, I can't thank you enough for the time and effort you spent in making who I am today. I'm so grateful for the decision you guys made to adopt me. You changed my life forever. You both gave so much up just to come get me from China. Especially you, Dad, because you don't like flying. You have accepted me as your own daughter, and I'm so thankful to be in this family. I have been tremendously blessed. I know that you guys have prayed for me every day, and I want to thank you guys for all those prayers. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you two. Dad, you have truly been a good example to me. I really admire your work ethic. You work hard until the job is finished, making it perfect. I also want to thank you for your financial support in my Christian education. Mom, you have taught me so many things by your unselfish, loving heart. You go out of your way to make my life and others better. Thank you so much for showing me how to have a relationship with God starting from a young age. Your example in this area has encouraged me many times. I really appreciate the time you set aside to help me with school and to give me helpful advice. I'm so thankful for you guys and love you both very much. And to Thor, Nisa, Linnea, Kirk, Skip, Anya, and Kai, each one of you have contributed something in my life and I just want to thank you so much for that. I love you all the time. Mama, thank you for being the bomb to my bruises and for not being afraid to be different even when others told you you did things wrong. Thank you for always being willing to put whatever you were doing aside and to make time to help me with the little things in my life. Whether it was teaching me how to cook, clean, work, or care for myself and for others, you always were there. You have always been and forever will be the greatest mom. And although I don't say it nearly as much as I should, I love you so much. Keep on being the wonderful person that you are. Papa, in all of my life, I still haven't met anyone close to you. Your humor, although kind of weird sometimes, never ceases to amaze me and make me laugh. And you always know how to make me smile. Thanks for always being willing to go on an adventure with me and sometimes push me out of my comfort zone when I was too tr scared to try. However, on a more serious note, I want to thank you for being the one who taught me how to be a man. Although you didn't have a father figure to look up to when you were a kid, I'd say that you've done a pretty good job at figuring it out. Papa, thank you for showing me how a true man behaves and for sacrificing your time and energy for the family. I know that I am the person I am today because of your love and influence in my life. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Dalia, although we tussle every now and then, I'm so proud of what you've become. Thank you for always putting up with my ridiculousness and for not being afraid to put me back in my place when I needed it. Although I haven't always been the best example for you, I've seen how you've learned from my mistakes so that you wouldn't have to go through the same hardships that I did. Dalia, you're smart and talented. God has blessed you immensely with different gifts and I'm so excited to see how he will continue to use you as you move forward in your life. Never forget that I love you with all my heart and that I'm always here for you no matter what. Also. Don't miss me too much once I leave the house. Dad, these last 17 years, you have been there for me every step of the way. Thank you for your love, for your time, all the things we've done together, all the memories we've made. You've been an example to me in the ways you've sacrificed for Mariah and I, and how you took care of Mom, and ultimately how you always put God first. Thank you. Mariah, 
I appreciate your love of adventure, your love of the outdoors. Um, you aren't afraid to try anything. Thank you for all the fun times, fun memories we've made, whether we're running the loop, rolling the quad, sinking in homemade boats, eating dirt, trying to fly with a trampoline mat, and so many other ridiculous things. It's been fun. Mom, I wish you were here today. I know you won't hear this, but thank you for everything. Thank you for making us your first priority, teaching us how to work, homeschooling us, showing us an example of who Christ is, even though it meant giving up everything, your career, your time, your energy. I love you, and I can't wait to see you soon. Mom and Dad, thank you for collectingly agreeing to raise another one. Mom, you and I have a special bond. I will always cherish going to work with you, our drives over the Altamont, just spending time with you. Mom, I also really appreciate all the countless mornings that you spend on your knees praying for each and every one of your children. That'll stay in my mind for the rest of my life. Dad, I have a great respect for you. One reason being that I've never heard you complain. Because of that, each day I strive to be the loving and unselfish and caring man that you are. And even though Maddie and I may not always laugh at your jokes, just know that we greatly appreciate your sense of humor. Thank you for investing into a private education for both me and Kaylee and Maddie. I know both of you have made various sacrifices and I just want to say thank you so much. One of the greatest things I have to thank you for is for introducing me to Jesus. Thank you both. I love you so much. Kelly and Maddie, I know you're getting shorthanded, but I really love you and running out of time, so love you both. Thank you. Papa, it was due to your advice that I was able to come to Fountain View my sophomore year. It was also your advice which helped me choose which college I'll attend next year. Thank you for your continued mentorship. Grandma, whether I was in our or in Canada, I've never doubted your love for me, and I thank you so much for your prayers and your limitless love for me. To the rest of my family, I want to say thank you. It is your support and your love and your prayers that have helped me get to this milestone. Thank you so much. I love all of you so much. Dear Mom and Dad, I really appreciate that both of you were there for me from the moment I was born. You have stood behind me in everything and you always believed in me. You encouraged me to explore, develop, and experience in many different ways. Whether it was you, dad, putting me up on a chair in front of everyone to sing, or mom, taking time to sit and read with me, I value every little thing. You know me better than I know myself and have continued to guide me with your unique insight and experience. The Christian standards that I learned in our home can never be erased from my mind. You have given me so much more than I ever asked for. Thank you. Also, to Christelle, my little sister, it's always been just you and me, and you have been such an encouragement and given me so much motivation. To my other family members, I would like to say thank you for supporting me. Thank you again, Mom. Jonathan and Andrew, I'm so glad for older brothers. You guys have helped me grow in so many ways and have always been great buddies for whatever we're up to. Thanks for always caring about me. Melissa, I'm so glad for you too. Daddy, thanks for your balanced and reasonable advice and approach to life. You honestly know so much about so many different things and any love that I have for learning must have come from you. Thank you for telling and showing me that most things in life really aren't worth worrying about at all. Thanks for your trust in me like when you convinced mom that I would be okay driving myself to camp. You're always up to do something fun together, and I'm so glad for all the great times we've had as a family. Thanks for showing me God in your life, your selflessness and patience toward me and all those around you, and just your example of humble leadership inspire me. Mommy, your self-sacrificing love is truly amazing. Thank you for always caring for me and showing your love to me so much. Thanks for all the fun things we've done together and for helping me do so many different projects. You've taught me so much in life, from cooking to how to live more fully. Oh, and how to have a full-blown gourmet meal while racing down the highway. Thank you for your own walk with God. I can't remember a time when I didn't come out in the morning to see you spending personal time with God. Thank you for being someone I can always count on, no matter when it is or where I'm at. Mom and Dad, thanks for your consistent love and hard work for me. Thank you for always making time for me, even when you're really busy. Love you guys. To all my family, aunts, uncles, and cousins too, thank you for all your love and support and fun times through the years. I love you guys so much. Papa, if there was one thing which you've given to me, then it would be your time. Ever since I could reason enough to express my first question, you were there to explain another life lesson. 
You taught me how to work. You showed me how to stand for myself and you sacrificed so many hours of your sleep to do whatever for me. I gladly remember all the fun we had driving down the roads with the car doors open wide and the stereo as loud as it, as loud as it would go. Or just taking apart all the great stuff which you brought back home from your treasure hunting. Thank you for having invested so much of your life to make all this possible. Thank you. Mama, you have always been the person in my life which was there for me when I really didn't know what to do. You were the one who always pointed me in the direction which really matters. And if it wasn't for your calm nature, I probably often would have rebelled against my family. I owe you so much and I can't describe how thankful I am to have you as my mother. Thank you for your dealing with me when I have my own ways in mind and for always encouraging me when life seems so hard. Julia, my wonderful, great, and still little sister, I thank God so much that he placed you into my life. Through you I've learned so many lessons, not always what I enjoyed the most in the moment, but I'm so grateful for them now. You truly have been a big example to me and often I find myself humbled when I see what a Christ-like character you have. Your care and love for me and everyone else is a huge blessing, and I'm so glad to have you. Thanks to all my family, especially for all of your prayers. I don't know what other reason God had to continue working in my life if it, if it wasn't for your prayers. Thank you so much. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for sending me uh, to Fountain View, even though it was like in a whole nother country, and I'm sure you got plenty of emails and phone calls that made you uh, either nervous or like worried. Thank you for not not uh, like making me come home or anything. And uh, Dad, uh, I'd really like to thank you for uh, all those times I uh, had you either mail a package or go buy and sell a dirt bike for me, even though like since I wasn't there to do it. Thank you both. Total commitment, despite separation for three years, is a rare jewel. And I am honored to let you know I have two committed parents. Daddy, thank you for pushing me to aim high and stand for what I believe. Most of all, thank you for your prayers and advice you have freely given me to treasure truth and choose Christ. Mommy, you are so humble. If I ever had an ounce of humility, I learned it from you. Thank you for your self-sacrificing love, the countless hours and sleepless nights you've spent helping me grow up and training me to take my trust and place it in God. Thank you for showing me what a godly mother, wife, and housekeeper can be in today's world. John, I appreciate how we have kept in touch from the time you left home until now. Thanks for setting the mark high and for being my encyclopedia. Elijah, you amaze me. Thanks for making a point of being together and watching out for your little sister. To Grandma and Grandpa, Uncle Guy and Aunt Debbie, Uncle Curtis and Aunt Kathy, Ruthann and everyone else, thank you for supporting me on my journey, letting me pause it for a bit with you, and encouraging me to keep pressing towards the ultimate finish line. I love you all. I can't wait to never say goodbye. I feel blessed to have grown up in the family I have. Dad, thanks for teaching me to think for myself, for giving me opportunities to expand my skill sets, and for encouraging me to learn photography and videography. Thank you for teaching me how to work hard. I appreciate all the hours we have spent together working on projects, talking about politics, fixing cars, learning about history, and studying the Bible. Mum, thank you for the many prayers you have prayed for me over the last 18 years. Thank you for teaching me what forgiveness looks like and how to live a true Christian life. Thank you for teaching me how to cook without the need for recipes and how to run a house. Dad and Mum, I'm grateful for the sacrifices that you have made so I could attend school on the other side of the world. And thank you for giving me the best gift ever, my siblings. Thank you for teaching me the importance of being independent and strong. I love you guys. Noble, Promise, Flint, Sovereign Mercy, Liberty Grace, and Aaron. Thank you for putting up with me and for being my little siblings. I love you guys so much. And to me again, you guys have taught me a lot. 
Thanks for being more than just my friends, for being my family. I love you guys. Mom, thank you for everything. Thank you for the love you've shown towards me. Thank you for always being there for me, for being my rock. Thank you for always being a support, always having my back with everything. You're my rock and I love you. I know I haven't been really emotional these past few years, but I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I do love you. I appreciate you. Dad, I, was, I remember when I was little and we had a friend's graduation. You told me I'd be up there someday. Well, here I am. Thank you for always showing me what to do, for giving me courage. Thank you for teaching me how to be a man after God's own heart, like David. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for being there for me, for being my rock as well. I love you. You're awesome. Nana and Papa, oh, I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. You guys have always been there for me with every birthday card, every everything. Even though you guys weren't there in person, you guys were there in spirit and in heart. You've always been there for me. Always been there for advice, always been there to talk. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always showing love towards me and care. Mamita, te amo muchísimo. Gracias por todo lo que me has dado. Gracias por siempre so soportarme. Te amo muchísimo, mamita. Que Dios te bendiga y te cuide. Uncle John and Aunt Sharon, even though we only met three years ago, it really feels like a lifetime. You guys are amazing. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for always showing me your support and text and pride. I love you guys. And also I'd like to thank my Uncle John and Aunt Cindy for showing me their love and support. Thank you, Uncle John and Aunt Cindy for helping me and showing me the way. Thank you for supporting me and being one of God's blessings. And to everybody else, to all the teachers, staff, and students of Fountview, and anyone else who has been there to help me through these days. Thank you. I appreciate you all. God bless. Dad, I think we all know that you were there since I presented my scruff bucket self to the world. I wonder how many faces I made when we did all our extraordinary father and son adventures, some of which mom definitely did not approve of. Your spontaneous let's have everybody and their uncle over for a good time slide taught me how to deal with that awkward, sensible person looking on at us and not to care. But on the flip side, I also want to thank you for teaching me not to question, why can't I do what Cousin Hamas is doing? Because as I look back to a daddy who had no daddy and loved his sons, thank you for expressing your love, no matter how tough, so I can learn from your experience. Mama, even though I have denied sometimes that I was a mama's boy, you knew all along I was. Thank you for being someone I could confide in, no matter how many gray hairs I caused with all those split heads. You didn't look over this mess for 14 years just for nothing because honestly I needed it and thank you for willingly choosing to. Cameron, Caden, and I did not make that home front easy but every thoughtful moment you sacrificed has helped make me the man I'm standing in front of you today. Thank you for answering me and my excuses with that Jesus love. I want to say thank you to both of my parents. Thank you dad for always being there for me, for teaching me how to fish, reading to me and camping with me. You're always willing to explore and spend time with me, even when I want to do things that you wouldn't do otherwise, just to be with me. Thank you for showing me how to be a hard worker. Thank you, Mom, for always being patient with me. You're always there, helping and teaching me. I love your creativity and fun spirit. I admire the way you put other people's needs first before your own. You're the most sacrificial person I know, and I could not have asked for a better, more amazing mom. Thank you. Mom, you've given up everything for us. Your energy, your time, your life. You quit your job to homeschool me and my brother. You spent countless hours explaining and re-explaining, giving examples and dealing with our misbehavior, only to turn around and cook for us and clean up after us. Your hard work and patience are incredible. 
You've been such an example to me and my brother of how to live like Jesus. You've trained us from the time that we can understand, and all the while you've lived by the same principles that you've laid down for us. You've backed up your words with your life. Dad, from the very beginning, you said that you didn't want your children to experience the same bad influence that you got from your friends in school. You wanted us to stay home with our mom and be homeschooled. You knew that having mom at home would mean she would have to quit her job, and you understood that that would put all the pressure on you to support us, yet you accepted that responsibility. You worked tirelessly day and night to support us, and yet you never complained. Your calm, enduring spirit has set an example to your family of what it looks like to live a Christ-like life. Jordi, thanks for being my friend my whole life. You were by my side through everything, school, Pathfinder, sports, everything. Thanks for putting up with all the annoying things I did and for being such a hard worker. Even in times when we had disagreements, you've helped me learn how to deal with conflict and have patience. Thank you for being so patient with me too. I love you guys. Mama, I am so thankful that God gave you to me. Thank you for allowing Jesus to shine through me. Thank you for always being by my side and for setting me an example of a godly woman. I can come to you for advice and comfort anytime. All through my life, you've encouraged me to be an honest and loving person, for which I am very grateful. Thank you for helping me reach my goals and for inspiring me to become more and more like Jesus. I really appreciate how much you've taught me over the years with patience and loving care. I love you so much. Daddy, ever since I was a little girl, we would do everything together. I remember when you would take me to work and you would teach me everything. And I think back to those memories with a warm feeling in my heart. I am so thankful that you are always by my side, holding my hand and making sure that I am safe and on the right path. Thank you for teaching me so many practical lessons and many life lessons too. And thank you for showing me through your example, the love of my Heavenly Father. I love you so much. When I was in elementary school, I remember after school I was always hungry and I always wanted to eat. I would always ask Papa if we could eat at another place close to our house. And as far as I remember, he never said no. Yes, I am very spoiled. But you see, I know that Papa did it because that is his way of expressing love. Gifts are his language of love. It is also one of the reasons why I grew sideways instead of up when I was a child. The best part of my Papa's character, though, is his love for my grandmother. I couldn't remember a day when he would not call Opumbur. God bless you for that, Papa. A wise man once said to me, in father's hand there's security, in mother's hand lies comfort. My mama's hugs are the best. When I am scared, I hug my mom, then the scariness goes away. I especially love mama's hugs when mama comes home from work. It is Mama's prayer, though, that transformed little Daryl to big Daryl. It is Mama's prayer that made me to look up and keep looking up. Keep praying, Ma, because God listens to your prayers. God willing, it's just in a matter of time until I see you both soon. Tuhan berkati Mama dan Bapa. Mama, Papa, 지금 45초밖에 없어가지고 일단 빨리 얘기해 볼게요. 일단 엄마. 내가 맨날 장난기만 많고 하라는 공부는 안 하고 놀기만 해서 마음고생 많으셨을 텐데 어, 내가 고집 세도 하나님만 의지하는 거 엄마한테 다 배운 거니까 어, 자랑스러워 하셔도 돼요 고마워요 아빠 내가 표현은 많이 안 하지만 아빠가 내가 제일 존경하는 사람이에요 우리가 아무리 보여줬고 생각이 없어도 맨날 가르쳐 주셔서 고맙고 또 우리가 엄마한테 잘해 엄청 혼내주시는 거 사실 엄청 좋아했어요. 우리 형, 어, 형도 어, 짜증나게 많이 했을 텐데 맨날 받아주고 내가 심심할 때 놀아주고 또 맨날 함께 해줘서 고마워. 엄마 아빠 당연한 얘기지만 어, 엄마 아빠가 없었으면 나는 어, 지금 아무것도 안 했어요. 말죠. 사랑해요. Mom and Dad, I'm going to try my best to express how grateful I am to have both of you as my parents. 
Thank you for the countless hours of hard work and the money you've spent to allow me to get a Christian education. I know you both prayed for me every day and I can't thank you enough for that. I definitely needed the prayers of protection these past three years. Dad, how can I ever thank you enough for spending over 320 hours, yes, I calculated it, in your car over the last three years just to come visit me? The fact that you not only came to see me and to check up on how I was doing, but to hang out with my friends and be a part of my life I found with you. It really showed how much you cared and loved me. As I look at the past 18 years, I can see how much you supported me and pushed me to be the best person I can be. I love you. Mom, where do I begin? Thank you for the countless hours we'd spend on the phone together, whether I was venting, needing prayer, or working on school. I don't know another mother who is as hardworking as you. You are the most selfless person I know, always putting others before yourself. Thank you for being such a role model in your walk with Christ and showing me a glimpse of Christ's character and love. Also, thank you for teaching me how to cook and look after a house. I hope I can be as good of a mother as you've been to me. I love you. Aaron, thank you for not only being my brother, but my best friend. Your postcards have meant the world to me these past two years, and also all of our crazy wild adventures. I can't thank you enough. Ashley, thank you for the fun memories that we've made together and for loving me unconditionally. Your phone calls meant the world to me. Amber, thank you for being my second mom and my big sister. I'll always look up to you. If every action I made was counted for, it still wouldn't show my family in its true colors. Love is shown in many ways, but love that is spent molding you to not become who they think you should be, but to become who God thinks you should be, is something that I personally can't comprehend. Even more so, a love that is focused on your well-being to the point of letting you go in hopes that when you return, you'll become closer to Him, is something that I can't fathom. And that is my family to me. Amor, I want to thank you for all the nights that you spent on your knees for me. I can't understand how you do that. Papa, I want to thank you for showing me God's love in a tangible, everyday kind of way, in a friendship kind of manner. And Fran, I want to thank you because you have been my best friend for all these years. You've traveled with me in every continent and you're still with me. I love you guys so much. Los amo. Y a la familia, los quiero mucho. Muchas gracias por las oraciones y por las llamadas. Los quiero todos. Omanapa, I probably won't ever be able to know or even understand the amount of work you guys had to go through to bring me to where I am, especially as immigrants from Korea. And I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I know you guys love me more than anyone else does in this world besides Jesus. And I would like to congratulate you both for putting up with me for 18 years and raising me into who I am today. Appa, even though I didn't appreciate this in the beginning, Thank you for developing my love for classical music and for passing down your healthy lifestyle to me and for just pushing me to do my best in everything and for being my biggest cheerleader. Oma, you are the funniest person I know and most of the time you don't even have to do anything to make me laugh. Thank you for teaching me all the shortcuts in life, especially math and driving and for just showing me how to live life to the fullest. I love you guys and I couldn't have done it without you. 妈,谢谢你一直以来对我的照顾 谢谢你每次给我祷告包括每次鸡蛋消失面条
，希望能够早日见到你们。然后谢谢你们呢，组成我的家庭，然后真的很感谢你们对我一直以来的付出，谢谢你们。Mom, thanks for all the humor that you've brought into my life. You say that you're not as loud or as funny anywhere else other than at home, so I guess that I'll have to say I'm so lucky to have such a funny mom. And thanks for、um, cooking for us all the time and for cleaning and doing all these things without complaint and for sacrificing a lot so that us kids could have a better environment to grow in. And Dad, thanks for always being our family's designated driver without complaint. And always saying that you weren't hungry just so the rest of us family could eat more. Thanks for always boosting our family's confidence, even though it was often with way too extreme comments I knew obviously were not true. But I think it stuck in my subconscious, and it drove me to better fit the person that you always described me to be. And Aiden, just know that I will never be able to thank you enough for growing my character so much more than anyone else ever could have. I guess I need to thank God for all the madness that you've brought into my life, as well as the weird noises and sayings that you say. But nevertheless, thank you for always taking pictures of me whenever I asked, <laughs> and still loving me despite the worst sides of me that you've seen. And our family doesn't really do sappy stuff, but in all seriousness, I love you all, and I'm privileged to be a part of this family. Hey, mom, you're the one. You're the person I admire the most in this world. When I think about someone that defines strength and love, it is you, Mom. You are the strongest person I know, and someone that knows how to love no matter what. Um, thank you so much for your patience with me. I'm sorry for causing you a lot of pain, but thank you for continuing to pray for me and just giving space for silence and letting me learn on my own. Instead of trying to jump in my life and trying to change me, that taught me a lot and helped me to learn to do things out of love. Thank you for showing Christ love through your life. I love you, Dad. Thank you for being someone I could relate to, someone I could be myself around. I remember growing up and always thinking you were so cool and tall and strong, and I always wanted to be like you. Even though I didn't always show it, you were my role model and where I get my crazy side from. I remember all the road trips we had and all the good memories of just sitting around and eating a lot of food. I remember I would get、um, in some trouble for doing something crazy, and you would be the first person I would call because I knew you would understand my crazy side, and you would. Just be like, yeah, just try not to do that again. Dad, I want you to know that I love you and I miss you so much. And even though your presence was not there for me all the time, I am thankful for what you have done. I've missed you a lot in my life, but I hope to see you in heaven. Mama and Daddy, on this wonderful day that's somewhat busy but also a very exciting day, and、uh, right now I have a chance to appreciate、um, you guys and my siblings for、um, all the sacrifices that you've made for me and、um, for the love that you've shown me. And、uh, Mom, I want to thank you for、uh, the beautiful person that you are and、uh, teaching me the things in life.、Uh, Where beauty lies, the things to love, the things to enjoy, and the beauty to appreciate that Jesus made. I think of things that you like: chocolate, the color burgundy, cats, dolphins, and your family. And I just want to thank you for your、uh, love and compassion and everything that you've done、uh, to make me、uh, a better young man here at Fountain View. And Daddy, I want to thank you for. Teaching me what it is to be a man, teaching me what work is, teaching me how to get the job done right, teaching me to measure twice and cut once—not just when working with wood, but with many things in life. And、um, I want to thank you for your example of Jesus that、um, you live through your life and、uh, that others can see through you. And Malia and Marissa, 
I just want to thank you guys for um, growing up with me and um, teaching me how to um, have patience and to deal with girly stuff. I'm sure it'll come in handy someday, but um, I really appreciate it and I love you guys. Thank you so much. Dad, through your own life, you have shown me that others are always more important than myself. You have sacrificed so much for me. Thank you for always being there. Mom, even though our time together was cut short growing up, I know that your love for me is the size of the universe. It never ends. I hope to have a compassionate heart like yours one day. You're the best sister, but even better, you're an amazing friend. Megan, know that I will always be grateful for everything you've done for me. Even through our rough spots, we come out on top and stronger. Julie, thank you for showing me what true dedication and hard work is. I don't think I'll ever get to your level, but I sure will try. <laughs> to meme gang and close friends, I love you guys to death. I know I can count on you guys for anything, and just know that I will always have your back. I can't wait to see where life takes us. Mom, I used to wonder how you always knew and understood me so well, but I have figured out that that is because you were once like me. But because of that, you've helped me deal with and get through a lot of things that you had to deal with yourself in the past. You're the kindest, most loving, and strongest person I know. You've gone through so much, especially with your health. Even though in your lowest days, you did all you could to be there for Brittany and I. Mom, thank you for making sure I felt loved. You created a home that made me feel safe and secure. Thank you for teaching me about the Bible and showing me how to have a walk with God. Dad, thank you for showing me what hard work looks like. You show me what love really is through your love and care for mom, Brittany, and I. Thank you for teaching me how to appreciate every moment of life and to find the good in everything I do and everyone I meet. Thank you for believing in me and giving me the courage to get through every challenge I face. You have always been there to support my dreams and help me learn something new. Growing up on my own would have been easy going and quiet, but maybe a little boring. But Brittany, you made life so much more fun and interesting. Even the times I don't feel like it, you always come up with something to make me laugh. When I was at school, I definitely missed your cooking, your craziness, and our adventures together. Grandma and Grandpa, thank you for both putting so many countless hours into helping me finish my school. Grandma, thank you for making your home my second home and for being my second mom who is allowed to spoil me. Grandpa, you have shown me that anything is possible when you work hard at it. Thank you for being so enthusiastic, encouraging, and helpful about each and every one of my new ideas and projects. Mom, Dad, Brittany, Grandma, and Grandpa, you guys all in your own way have taught me honesty, patience, kindness, and hard work. Without you guys, I'd be nowhere near the person I am today and the person that I'm working on becoming. I love you guys so much. Dad, you are my biggest role model and mentor. Those circumstances in your life have not been ideal, You've always looked at them as opportunities to grow into a better person. Your genuine and reliable advice means so much to me. It's my goal to approach life as methodically and responsibly as you do. Also, your frequent pranks and jokes never fail to make my day. But most importantly, you've shown me how to walk with Jesus and let him change me. For this eternal treasure, I can never thank you enough. Mom, you've given me the greatest gift anyone can receive that of a loving mother. Even though we're so different, you're one of my best friends and I'll always cherish our countless hours of conversation about matters like deep spiritual things to the most random stuff. And I owe all of my fame in the pun industry to you, so thanks for that extraordinary skill. You've shown me how to be a true Proverbs 31 woman and if I could ever be half the wife and mother that you are, I'll consider that success. Dad and Mom, I'm so proud to be your daughter. Anything I've done worthy of credit, I owe completely to you. You've shown me what real love looks like, and you've sacrificed all of your time and resources to do so. I love you both so much, and I'll always be indebted to you. Amy, what would I have done without you? You're my best friend, adventure buddy, and partner in crime. From mud forts, cooking fails, adventures in the woods, pet snails and grasshoppers, and rollerblading behind our doll strollers. I think we've done it all, pretty much. Thank you for showing me the bright side of life and being the only one who's seen my full potential of weirdness. I'm so proud of my gorgeous, smart, and funny sister, and I love spending time with you. I love you so much. Yayasuke daike, sister. Also, to my extended family watching, 
I love y'all so much and I'm so grateful for your support. Mom, these are for you. I didn't forget. I brought the extra tissues just like you asked me to. <sighs> so, where did I begin, Mama? I guess I should start by thanking you. In spite of all my odd idiosyncrasies throughout every phase of my life, you were always there for me. You've accepted every aspect of who I was and who I am, and you've looked forward without premonition to the person that I will be. You've had every confidence in the woman I've become, even at times when I forget to believe in myself. Mom, you've seen and understood me in ways that no one else has or would probably dare to. And in spite of how hard it was for you at times, you've always had my back. Even in the moments when you couldn't really understand what I was going through, you always tried. And I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am to you for that, and for allowing me the room that I needed to grow, even when I just couldn't seem to do it for myself. And one more thing, Mom. I know it's not easy living in a house with so many boys, but I say that we've made a pretty good team. And I know that you'll always be the best friend I've ever had, Mom. From being your little girl in that yellow dress that you brought home from the hospital to the woman I am today, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. And I love you, Mama. Dad. Do you remember the day it dropped me off for my first day of school? Like what, 12 years ago? Many years ago? I remember thinking how grown up I was and how seriously I took that first step. But to be honest, Dad, I was a little frightened to step out and do something so important on my own. But you were there to hold my hand, just like you always have been, and you walked me into the next phase of my life, making it look so effortless all the while. And looking back on it now, I can see that you were a little scared as you realized that time was slipping away a bit too quickly. But you never let your fears stop me from chasing my dreams, even when it was hard for you. I've never had any doubt in my mind that you would be there for me. Because of you, I gained a passion for bravery, for stepping out and facing my fears, for blazing trails and crossing oceans, because I know that with every step I take, you'll always be there for me, Dad, no matter how far from home my steps may carry me. And no matter the time or place, you've always picked up your phone, in the middle of the night or in the busiest part of your day, you're there for me in spirit, even when we were miles apart. So thank you, Dad, for molding me and supporting me, even when it wasn't easy to let go. It means more to me than you'll ever know. I love you so much. Dear Mom and Dad, You guys have done so much for me I can't even fathom. I want to start by thanking you for the countless sacrifices you've made in your life so that I don't have to make any of mine. Mom, I thank you for your patience and dedication in homeschooling me for so many years. The countless frustrations I've caused you, I can't even imagine. Thank you for cooking every meal for me since I was a baby, and even now for your attempt to teach me how to cook. I'm very grateful. Thank you for your countless prayers, which I know have had an immense impact on my life. I'm forever in your debt. To the world, you're just a mother, but to me, you're the world. Thanks for being the best mom ever. Dad, I'm sorry if I don't say this often, but I love you. I always have and I always will. I mean, I breathe because you breathe. I'm happy because you're happy. Thank you for being the best dad anyone can ask for. Thank you for giving from your heart. Thank you for your hours of hard work, for the countless prayers, and the thousands of things you've done that have gone unnoticed. Thank you. Emily Selko, you are hilarious and an enjoyment to be around. And I thank you for your attempt to teach me proper British English. For your countless phone calls we've had during my life at Fountain View, and yours, of course. I thank you for the hundreds of hours you played with me growing up, our, in our imaginary worlds of cars and horses, in the day it made life worth living. I appreciate you so much, and I smile because you're my sister, and I laugh because you can't do anything about it. To all you guys, I love you, and thank you. The next part of our program is a special tradition that we've had here at Fountain View since the early 2000s. We affectionately call it the candle ceremony. It represents a transition that's happening at graduation, or perhaps two transitions. The whole ceremony takes place during a song called Go Light Your World. Normally in this ceremony, there are large candles lit up here on the stage. Each senior and junior has a candle in their hand, and during the song, the seniors light their candles from the ones on the stage. This represents something that they have received from Fountain View. Then, the juniors each have their candle lit by the seniors. This represents a passing on of something. 
And in the, in the last verse of the song, they all raise their lighted candles in the air as they sing together. So what does the light represent? The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 4, 6, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Light represents the knowledge of God's glory, the knowledge of God's character. Before we moved into this school building, our old building had a little chapel upstairs. The students now know it as the PE room. On the wall, there was a message. To know God and to make him known, that is our business here. The knowledge of God is our influence in this world. It's what lightens the darkness. Fountain View has shared this influence with the seniors during their time here. As the oldest and most experienced in the student body, they, in turn, have had that primary influence among the students. And now, at graduation, there is a transition. The juniors are becoming the seniors of tomorrow. So the current seniors pass that influence on to them. The seniors are transitioning from a light here at Fountain View to a light in the world. This year, they can't physically pass each other candles. Instead, the seniors organized a Zoom meeting with the juniors where they shared some of this tradition verbally. And they all made videos of themselves singing the song, which is our pleasure to share with you now. a candle and makes his home. Carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the hopeless, confused and torn. Hold out your
We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us for Expressions Night. We want to remind you that tomorrow we will have our commencement program at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So please join us. Let us bow our heads for our closing prayer. Our dear, gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the privilege of being able to minister to the class of 2020. Father, you have seen each and every one of the students you know them by name i pray father that your holy spirit would fill them with your presence and even though they are not united as a class this evening i pray lord when you come in the clouds of glory there will be a class reunion like no other that each and every one of the young people would be reunited to spend an eternity with you forever until that day father keep us all faithful for we ask and we pray these things in Jesus' precious name, amen. May God bless you. Have a great evening.